The 19th Missile Brigade Tachkas in 2021. Ukrainian government photo when the Soviet army left. Ukraine in 1991. 500 Taka left behind traditional ballistic missiles. A year later. On eve of Russia's wider war against Ukraine. The Toka inventory of Ukraine army fell into 90 active missiles. This logical is a 2-ton 70-mile rocket with a war title and the inertia guide. During next year hard fight, Ukrainians fired almost all remaining TOCHKAS. Until summer 2023, Rocket Ukrainian Army the 19th Missile Brigade was rarely to see any evidence of Taka launch. Tachkas returned six months later. This week, he took a photo depicting the ruins of a Ukrainian Taka in Belgorod in the south of Russia. Another Taka strike targeting Russian forces was reported to have been reported too. It should not be a surprise that the Ukrainians fired Tachkas again, produces. The Russian company KBM became chief producer of Tachkas during the main production work between 1970s and 1990s. There is no reason why the Ukrainian government touched Yuzhmash to build a modernized version of Tachka's HRIM-2. It is not a reason for the Russian forces to target Yuzhmash again and again. He claimed that he destroyed his workshop. However, the Yuzhmash complex remains active. Receiving or distributed targeted facilities or both the Taka is not a sophisticated missile. If Yuzhmash can produce heavy engines for high bedding space founders, much smaller. Simpler Taka cannot be renewed and even not being able to build it from scratch. And the Soviets in hundreds of Ukraine in Tachkas. The Soviets. Must have many old rockets corpses that Yuzhmash can work. Ukrainians will bother to renew the Taka inventories. More airports. Factors. Bridges and storage. 100 or 200 miles behind facade of the Ukrainians have to fight on facade. 